program are to try to capture what CSS um, it does in our regular school year work, which is prepare kids for college. Um, and to do that through what we believe the most effective way is to make hands-on learners, problem solvers, create, uh, critical thinkers, and creative thinkers. And so that is a strength that we have as a school and the goal is to be able to <coughs> share that with a larger audience, um, with a larger part of the community. I've been to Atlas many times and I know how the classrooms work and I know the incredible amount of hard work the teachers have done there to get the kids to the point where they're ready to take on something a little bit more free, more open, more creative that demands a different kind of um, student. Really. When I first came to the program, I was expecting it to be a more closed-in type of environment. Later on that day, we had play games and I was kind of confused about why we had done that because um, usually at normal schools you don't usually just go to play games and then I didn't realize until later that day that there were games to teach us lessons about communicating with people. The thing I love most about this program is being able to get out of the classroom with my students. I started my career as a teacher working in environmental education and so I was outside with my kids all the time. And even though a lot of our work at the REACH program is still in the classroom, we have opportunities to head out into the community and do field trips that these students haven't had access to before. We're looking at the ways in which explorers on Earth and explorers in space um, explore their surroundings, what are they looking for, what makes them successful, how do they problem solve. We did some exploring uh, at the U.S. Olympic Center. We also went exploring to Cave of the Winds. The kids got to put on all the caving gear, the helmet and the knee pads and everything, and climb through the cave sim. One of the things we've done is uh, try to get them exploring space through their robots. Um, they have the robotics lab every day, and they get to program their own robots with just two kids per robot. And then we're here today, actually in the Mars yard, doing some real life, close to real life programming, and they get to see how successful they can be in a Mars simulation. Um, what's surprising is that it, it's fun. I didn't know that we were going to be looking at robots, so that was pretty cool. I didn't think that everybody would be like nice and and kind of like interact with you, and that's what I like about it and the freedom. I just really want to thank the Colorado Springs School for going out of their way to take us on field trips like every day of every week for the three weeks that we've been here. They're just planning to make great field trips and make it fun for us and I just really want to thank them for that. I really I'm really enjoying the REACH program and I hope um, we'll have it next year for the Honors College. What I'm hoping for in the long range is that all these kids will be able to go to college and go to a good college and succeed in college. Um, a lot of kids these days get to college but they don't necessarily make it through because they haven't had the preparatory skills or they don't have the support network once they're in there. So I think getting them into college but having them have the, the resilience and the flexibility and the problem solving skills to get their way through college. Thank you.